I don't care what she will, cause she thick and she snatched She don't care who in there, she gon' eat what she in So don't fuck with Rosa Paws, I'm tryna eat from the back September the 19th and it's 11.20 at night. And pretty much I wanna show you guys what I have here. TikTok shop has been loading your girl down. Okay, they send me free item after free item after free item. So now I got a Herb of Magic Peach Mango, Awaken the Day Where Possibilities Play, Ignite Your Spirit with Every Invigorating Sip. And it's 30 servings per container. So you add one teaspoon to your glass, pour in eight ounces of cold water and stir well. Use a frother for best results. So this is Yerba Magic. Add ice and then you can do creamer, sweetener, honey, agave nectar, or your favorite sweetener. You can do almond or oat milk too. But what this do is, it's energy with no crash. Caffeine and lithiumine. It boosts your gut health with prebiotics. It balances your mind gut connection, brain boosts from mushrooms and no tropics. It reduces brain fog. It gives you energy with no crash. It supports a healthy gut. It's a prebiotic and probiotic. It's low sugar. And it's just two grams. So this is my latest TikTok find. But I just got on here today, y'all, to talk about, because I know a lot of people want to know how did I get into social media, content creating, and everything. So I just want to take y'all from the beginning for my recollection and let y'all know what it is I do and how I came about to do it as far as social media content create. I, um, first of all, I started off doing short form content like reels and stories and Snapchat and real stories and things like that and posts. So I was real shy to post. I never posted. I would like some, I would share some. I never posted any pictures for real. If I did post a picture, it was here and there. Then one day I just said, stop being shy. Forget all the rest of it, just post your stuff. So I started promoting my hair. That was the first thing. I stopped doing hair, so I would post pictures, come get your hair up. Then I moved to these restaurant apartments and that's when the story began. So at the restaurant apartments, they would be out there acting crazy child. In Pinehurst, on the north side of Huntsville, they was out there acting up. And when they was acting up, Pretty much, somebody got a slit, a throat slit out there. It was a lot of domestic violence, like boyfriend, girlfriend, fighting boyfriend, she with the girlfriend, six o'clock in the morning, he the choke slam her on the ground. We had this special Ed man lived over there. He had an SSI check. He would get up at 6 a.m. yodeling, like seriously. You can hear him through your window. Ah, ah, ah. Just early in the morning, like nigga, if you don't stop all that shit. Then I used to call on him every day. Finally, is this dude across the hallway from me. He had HIV. So all his family was coming through living with him and they would be fighting with other people in the apartment complex. They would be fighting with each other. So it was this couple that moved over there with him. They got, they used to be having domestic fights all the time. Then it was his other big cousin. She was a big girl came over there. She got the into it with the neighbors downstairs. So they was finna fight. Then, the plug, he's laying downstairs. I come home one day, his house is upturned and he getting arrested. The gas station right across the street, that's where the girl got her throat slit at. But it was like some just off that day, you knew something else was gonna happen. So I went to the gas station, left the gas station, came back, they was like, they just got to find somebody somebody throw that. It was two girls. Then, it just used to be, the fire marshals had to come save this couple. This couple was in the in the apartments next to us. He, they had meth and they had passed out with some on the stove. So the fire department had to jump over their balcony, bust their window out, and get them out. 
when they came down and woke them up, they had like peed, like they had peed on themselves and everything. They were just in there gone. So the ambulance had to come get them. So these apartment complex, you can see just had a lot going on. And that was the beginning of my social media journey. I would go out there and record them on my stories and people would be like, oh my gosh, man, it's so much, you know, like, oh my God, it's a lot going on over there. Cool. So then we decided, okay, let's make these stories into reels that stay up. So that was the first viral moments that I had. Staying in those restaurant apartments and just recording what was going on out there. Cause every day you was gonna be woke up with something. And so I started doing that. And that just translated to, hmm, let me just try YouTube. Don't know where the idea came from. Never thought I would be doing it. But one day I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna try this shit. So I got the camera. I set it up. Lord, I ain't know what I was doing. I had bought this new gravity bomb. Y'all know I smokes down. So I bought this new gravity bomb and I just said, I'm gonna do an unboxing of the gravity bomb and pull it and stuff on YouTube. That was my first YouTube channel. I don't know why I decided to do YouTube. Before I even did this video, I was trying to think like, but I really took it serious later on down the line when my dude lied to me about something. So we ended up start getting into it. And he like, okay, fine, I'm gonna buy you a camera to make it up to you. So he brought me this nice camera. And once I got the camera, we went and we started taking me pictures with the camera. Cause truth be told, I had a camera when I was younger. And I loved like, everybody knew for Christmas, get your a camera. I just liked taking pictures of everything, everybody, whatever I was doing at the time. So I would just always have a camera through life. So this, once again, the camera found its way back to me. And I'm just not thinking of this now while I'm telling y'all, but anywho. So he like, I get you the camera. So he got me the camera and I get this new camera, take the pictures. I'm like, okay, we can do photography with this. So then mainly him, but me too, we sat there and learned how to do photography, self-talk. Y'all know how I get down. I love an entrepreneurship spirit. So we taught ourselves how to do photography and we used it for photography. Then we had a camera, so we like, shoot, we do photography, we can do videography. So we started doing YouTube videos with the professional camera. Cause I had already started on my phone prior to this. Around the time I started making the TikTok videos of the crazy people. So that's pretty much how I got started doing social media or how I found myself here. And now once I had them videos go viral and I started the YouTube channel, it just started to grow. And I'm like, well, shoot, maybe I can take this serious and get monetized. Why your girl have messed around and got monetized around here? So I got monetized and then that just filled the fire even more. I'm like, we can make money from this? Wow, let's see what the people like. So I'm just putting all kind of content out. Work life, gym life, school life, um, skits, just doing different things. Um, and that's how I got into the social media and just trying to see what my niche was, I guess. So I was kind of all over the place, still kind of is. But I have found out the algorithm. Y'all don't have to, um, Catch me on the next video on how I grew my channels. I got like 70K on TikTok, 33K on IG, and I got like 49K on Facebook. My threads, I just started. Lemonade does pretty well. It's this app that they say gonna blow up. So I just got on Lemonade just cause. Twitter pretty low, but I'm monetized on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So yeah, and TikTok always sending me free products to promote. So at this point, it's just like, it's only up from here. And so that's a little bit about how I personally got started with YouTube and stuff. My life just landed me here and now I'm just trying to grow with it. So right now I'm doing a seven day challenge. I am going to post one YouTube video every single day for seven days and just see how it goes or what, cause I'm really trying to get used to being in front of the camera and stuff more. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. And that is the end of how I got started in my journey on doing YouTube. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. To all the smacker techs out there, appreciate you both.